Welcome back to Mortar Archery. Today we have this quick comparison between the Chinese Chu and the Assyrian bow, Ali bow versus AF archery, because many people of you ask about it. Uh, the technical specifications and speed and all this, please check the videos. I put them in the description, the links for them. Today it's only my personal preference, what I see, what I feel simply while I look at it and while I shoot it. So first of all, what you get is you get the bow in a sleeve, both ways. Chu from Alibo. Closest to Assyrian design you get from Alibo right now. So what you get then is the bow, string and the sleeve, of course. And as we already saw, slight flex in the handle, long curvy ears, a nice string. Finish is as usual, Alibo, perfect. The only thing is these colorful stickers. If you like them, they are here. If you don't like them, I don't know if you can order them without, but ask Alibo. And here, the competitor in the other corner is the Assyrian, is the Babylon by AF. We have more flex in the handle and a more gentle curve here. Doesn't go that far up. Uh, finishing is very nice here. You can have it in different options, of course, again. You get the sleeve, you get a string, you get the bow. First of all, optics. So here you see again, front, Ali bow, back, Babylon. You see that the handle comes up from the Babylon, so the flex in the handle is more, but then the sears are not so aggressive both to 35 inches, max jaw. And then what you see is, and we need to come a little closer. The arrow pass of the Babylon is way more narrow than from the Chu. You have both these arrow rests on it, both have this slightly, I'm gonna turn it this way around. Both have a slight bump. This one is more pronounced here on the back. This one is a little more flat. You get leather wrapped handle, here you get the stitching inside with a thin thread, here you get this thick stitching with this dot on the bottom. This is simply, you may like it or not. The rest, it's really similar. Then the limbs from the Chu, way more wide. The Babylon is overall way more thin made, even the sear thickness. Here we go. The, th the sear thickness, way more narrow, everything in the Babylon. And what you get then with the Babylon is here this transition like with a kind of like a Tatar or an Ottoman bow. And you have this th small string groove here, which is supposed to catch your string. With Ali bow, you don't have a string groove, but you have here this pronounced corners where the string will always end there, which I think is a little more safe, especially for a long draw bow. Ease of use, how easy is the chew to string? I leave the string on the limb because this is always how I do it. So step through method. We have a little flex in the handle. You press forward. You put the string in, the string is here in, the string is down there on the limb. Fine. Stringing is easy. Unstringing the same way. Press forward, get the string off, wait until the tension is gone. Takes a little more because of these sears, but it's fine, it's doable. Even a beginner can do that, it's no problem. The bow is even sturdy enough, I guess. So, stringing. Ali bow, easy. Stringing the Babylon. We have more flex in the handle, so we might need to be a bit more careful. Because the bow tension starts way more back. But then you see, boom, that was easy. The strong bow. Unstringing. The string off and the other tension is already gone so it's I would say stringing the Babylon is a little bit easier than the chew but not that much so you only need to check that the string always ends up in the string groove here and here 
and then you're good to go. What I completely don't like on the AF is this red yellow string. I don't know what they think. They make such nice colorful combinations here, bright wood, dark wood, everything nice and then a colored string like this and here a white whipping which is quite rough. I don't know. Whereas on Alibaba side you simply get a white one. It's fine or a black one, you know, but, but don't do it that colorful, please AF archery. So this is this. So ease of use, stringing, unstringing, I would tend a little more to AF. It's a little easier to string, unstring than Alibo. Now you see them strung. Design comparison strung. We line up the handles. So you see the slight more flex in the handle of the Babylon and the less aggressive CSO there. The Babylon is overall a little more flat and the true design is a little more curvy. But the length overall is almost similar and the draw almost similar, so both are fine. Let's talk about the handle. What I like, what I totally like of the two is this very narrow arrow pass. The handle for me, I shot it last time a little, then my pinky started hurting because there is nothing. Because of course down there the arrow, uh, the, the bow is quite thin too, so there is for my finger nothing to hold anymore. But for the rest this bow gives you a nice control, a nice grip in both directions. It has this slightly bulge here in the middle, feels good. But as I said, pinky has no place when you have bigger hands, might cause a problem. Ali bow, way more beef. Here you see my pinky rests properly and relaxed on the, so I have here more to do with my pinky and you know when I do katra I need my pinky for that. See is a little better, only the arrow pass is not so narrow, but I think with a long draw bow like this and the brace head like this you can live with it. The shorter the brace head, the wider the, the arrow pass, the more disaligned will your arrow be. Brace side of the bows is yeah, roughly the same. Alibo has a little more brace head, but it's a quarter of an inch or something. So grip wise, I would give the point to Alibo. Even if the shelf, uh, the, the arrow pass is a little wider, but for me, for my fingers, this feels way better. So then, why because we have the Alibo directly here, let's do the wiggle test. And this is here, you see that it's very wiggly doesn't cause a problem but it feels a little you know when you this here Ooh. in this direction on the other side it's really stiff so what matters is this direction and here the bow is really stiff so this is not a problem it's only there just this this movement here this is a little when you have it in your hand you get used to it stiffness of the Babylon and here we go it's like there's nothing moving nothing completely nothing and even here stiffer so wiggle test I would give again to AF archery this is a stiff piece of wood you don't have to worry that the limbs will here you know there's this this wobbly I don't know it doesn't feel so safe to me this one is Whatever you do, this bow feels sturdy. So, wiggle for AF. What else do we have? Did I tell you everything? The prices you see, of course, this one you get maybe with a 10% voucher now, or a little cheaper. This one is already 320 plus shipping. This one is, I think, 300, including shipping, minus the voucher code. So, price-wise, I guess Alibo, but I need to check if it's really $300 because I forgot. For the rest, very similar, very thin sears. Let's shoot them. Did I really say a quick comparison? <laughs> so, now let's see what the bow can do when you want to shoot your three finger style and you have the arrows in your hand. With Alibo's shoe design, it's very easy to align the arrows. As you see, you grab them and they fold directly, they unfold and you can do your whatever style you shoot here. That's really fine. But it was to be expected because you, it's almost straight here. 
the other direction the same needs maybe a little that you get used to it but even this direction once you shot a few times fine here we go if you want to shoot the oh my god these fletchings look good if you want to shoot the babylon three fingers there it's it's okay it's doable but it's a little more problematic because of the curve it's like with a turkish bow or a tatar bow uh, not a tatar like with an ottoman bow you have this bump in the front and these bows are not meant to have the arrows in the hand and because the handle gets here very small and you have then the arrows in front you don't have a lot of control of the bow anymore so that does not feel very safe for me anymore but you can get used to everything when you practice long enough and this direction here doesn't work because this is that you can't align the arrows it's, it's it's here it's not going to work so versatility i would give the point more than to two bow now let's see what it will do three fingers with a 29 inch long arrow how does it feel and you heard this already loud but straight and nice nice even short arrows i think this arrow is a little lightweight nice what is the babylon doing You don't hear anything. It's a major difference. Alibo is loud. Same. Kicks the arrows away. Same way. And accuracy wise, you don't see which arrow I shot with which bow. So we are not here to shoot 28 inches. We shoot a little more. Alibo with a little longer draw. These are 34 or 5 inches. 4 I think. Feels really good katra comes naturally directly without thinking that's good and this one is a little longer 36 inches so we don't draw fully oh it feels really good so every draw length with uh, ali bow is fine the i forgot always the name Babylon gets a little stiffer at the end but still fine and the longer one fine too so shooting experience for me no difference only here the handle is too small but i told you i wish the handle would be a little bigger then this would be most probably for me a bow so draw experience wise i would give the point to ali bow shooting experience they are both the same as you saw with 28 inch arrows with longer arrows they do everything you want from them now again ali bow in different draw length to see what the bow will do the only thing is listen to the noise when you don't like it don't get the alibo so this would be 29 inches it's nice one more time 29 inches with cutter and string twist works nice with this bow and the funny thing is now as i started talking about the string angle of 60 degrees now you see in all these facebook groups all the pros talking about the string angle of 60 degrees i like that so we draw 32 inches which is my draw length feels good so every draw length with this bow be 29 30 ah, 32 or more so with this bow you're covered up to 35 inches just fine babylon 29 inches thumb release Here's a little snap here. Ooh, that was off. String twist and cut. Yep, then it works. Good. Then we draw 32 inches roughly. That feels just fine for me. So I would shoot this bow in 32 inches. 
Yep. And a little longer. Feels fine too. So this both really nice. There is no winner and there is no loser in this competition. It really depends what you want. First of all, I want the camera to be a little lower. So it really depends what you want from your bow. If you don't like a loud noise, don't take the chew. This one is way more silent. If this wiggling bugs you, don't get the Ali bow, get the stiff AF. Both are awesome bows, perform very well in all draw lengths. So you can shoot 28 inches, you can shoot 35 inches. Both bows do well. Draw experience I would give to uh, Ali bow, feels a little better to me. Shooting experience of both is the same, only this one is a little bugging me because of the small handle, otherwise this bow would be with a narrower arrow pass just the right thing. Very stiff, very sturdy, very forgiving. But both, even for a beginner, if you're looking for something in longer draw and not too high poundage, because you always need to remember, of course, I build them in 50 pounds, but then I guess after 33 inches, it gets stiff. So, but lower poundage is 30, 40 pounds are fine. They are both 32, 33. We have 42 pounds at 33. And we have 35 at 28. And this one is then at 28, 32, 32, 35. So almost even similar draw weights. So from this regards, this one feels a little nicer to draw, but this is still an awesome bow. So they are really, they both are on a high level. I wish I would have now the Assyrian bow from Grosje to compare them with these two, but unfortunately I never get a bow from Grosje only when one of my and when my patrons want to see one, Grosje is not sending me a bow to test. And I can't afford all the bows. Pretty bows, both of them. And I said before, if you don't like these stickers, ask Ali Bow that they don't put them on it. But for the rest, both bows are just incredible. So this is all I have to say. Now you need to know what you like more. So I gave you everything on my personal, complete, personal, subjective uh, impressions of both bows. And now you know. And Ali bow, of course, if you get it, uh, voucher code Armin 10, you get 10% off. And I guess I get a little kickback from Ali bow, but I don't know. As some people mention, Ali bow makes so much business with me, they should give me already a share of the company. I fully agree. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I catch you in the next one.